Neighbors, friends, and family of Robert Burdett are gathered here on Mount Bethel Road, where just hours ago, his plane went down. This is the first one that's happened in this area in a number of years. His plane was something that people here in Lawrence County did see often, though. Dustin Dial, a close friend, witnessed the crash and says 69-year-old Robert Burdett would fly almost every weekend. He's a good pilot. I've, he, matter of fact, I flew with him a couple of times. But today, when he looked up from his barn and saw the plane, he knew something was wrong. When he made a hard left, then we all stepped out of the barn and we, was, we watched him coming down the field, but when we decided that he was going to crash, then we went, we come running. Like I said, when we got there, I mean, it was too late. Neighbors say they heard the plane's engine make a revving sound and then cut back before the crash. After the plane hit the ground, Dial ran over to see what had happened. When we got there, we could tell that, like I said, that his neck was broke and, and uh, one of the guys thought they seen a finger move. So then uh, I told him to cut him out, you know, to cut him out of the plane, keep him from burning up if something happened. Fire Chief Steve Arsenault says they have no clues as to what could have caused the crash, and the FAA will be investigating for the next few days. We'll be out here all night, probably part of the day tomorrow assisting them with the investigation. Lawrence County Chief Deputy Coroner Vicki Cheek says Burdett left behind a wife and two older children. She says his wife was holding up okay tonight because he died doing what he loved to do. I remember him as, a, as an outstanding fellow. Lawrence County Chief Deputy Coroner says an autopsy will likely be performed tomorrow. In Lawrence County, Christine Scarpelli, 7 on your side.